Welcome to this edition of Chalk Talk. So fundamentally on a 3-3 on a three, three offense on the 6-on-5, you've got, you've got your strongest shooters up top. It's really important uh, that you don't have a weak shooter at this position. If you have a weak shooter over here, okay, the teams are sort of going to shade over on your stronger players. Let's say your star players over here. Um, and he's sort of going to get up pressed. And this player might stun a little bit and stay on, on, on another player here. But if you've got a weak shooter on, a weak, on this weak side, uh, a good team is going to just sort of let that player shoot the ball. It's, it's the worst angle, and um, they're going to have some shot blockers down here. Maybe this player will come in, and they'll get two blocks, and they'll, they'll give this player uh, the shot. Okay? So if you, if you don't have three good shooters, it's, it's really hard, and you've got to sort of make this player uh, keep, keep the other team honest. Okay? So if you have a lefty... Um, that isn't a strong shooter, you've got to make sure you're telling that player to look like they're about to shoot any moment. So it's sort of a, you really got to keep the team, the other team honest on this, okay? Uh, a good place if you have weaker players in the pool, okay, is on the bottom line. And you can always uh, sort of go back and forth between a 4-2 and a 3-3. So you have a, a strong star player here who everyone knows is maybe your best shooter and uh, he's being pressed. It's really important not just to stay in this one position. If, if they're coming over and pressing you, he's got to slide a little bit and see how far this player is willing just to stay with him. Okay? So if I'm going to slide and see how far is this player willing to just come out of the play. The further he'll follow, this will give your other players more of an opportunity. So again, uh, all the players have to react to what's going on in the pool. And maybe this is a player who doesn't get as many shots as, as your star player in the game. This player's got to be ready to move up into the open space, okay, and maybe get to this position. If this player still stays here, okay, then we're going to have a golden opportunity. Maybe this player will come back here, and then this player's got to move up, and then we'll see how far, how much, how long this player wants to stay here. If he starts staying, he can slide, and then you can get a really good shot uh, from one of your third or fourth option. If you start to slide, and this player thinks this is too far to go and starts to come back, okay, and maybe cheats a little bit too much, then you can jump in and, and hit your top player and, and get him open, okay? But it's all about attacking, finding the open water, drawing a player with you, attacking the open space. Everyone has to be aware at all times um, what their role is, and it's got to be clear for them. So before... Um, you set up a 3-3 or you set up a 4-2, you've got to, the coach should be going over with the players what their roles and responsibilities are, and each player should know fundamentally, not five or six steps, but one or two steps ahead, what they should do if, if, uh, if the other team is reacting on defense in a certain way.